Okay, and that's in that same response, he kind of went crazy about um Buka Six Hundred. Nah, he was saying Buka can't come back to the hood because who said that? Who said that? They said that on the pot on that on that Brother. response. That's what I'm talking. I don't know what I don't know what they got going on. I ain't gonna lie to you, but folks, that's folks block, man. I'm still mm. folks been out there longer than a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, that's folks block. Buka from Six Hundred. That's his block. His name can't nobody 600. tell me he can't come over there again. Y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, make sure y'all smash the like button. Say which number like y'all is. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We is in here talking about Mimo 600, Buka 600, Tay Capone. We in here talking about all that shit. So look, Mimo responding to all the shit that's been going on. You know, Tay. You know, Tay viral right now. Tay got his channel busting, and you know, he just, you know, telling all his stories and shit. So, one of the stories was, you know, Fulton was talking about how one of the reasons that Buka can't come back to the hood is because Buka uh, lined Mimo up. That whole situation where Zoo ran up on that, uh, ran up in that 600 member crib, and you know, Mimo ran upstairs. Why his uh uh his homies Emilio I forgot the other six hundred dude name but why Emilio and another member from six hundred getting their teeth knocked out they changed took from them they getting overbeat downstairs Mimo upstairs hiding in the closet he heard how real that shit was getting downstairs his ass jumped out the window and ran for his life so the whole time you know Tate said that Buka help line that situation up. Buka aid and assist that whole situation. So, and he was speaking like, yeah, you know, that right there is one of the reasons Buka can't come back to the hood. So it was like, yeah, you know, that shit was going viral and shit. So Mimo did an interview with Corporal Cartel Media, shout out Corporal Cartel Media, and he addressed the situation. Like, bro, asked Mimo about the situation. And you know, Mimo basically, bro, on my son, bro, Mimo basically took up for Buka. He was like, look, man, Buka 600. This is the same person that just lined him up and had him jumping out the window and got them and running for his life. So, you know, uh, Mimo hopped up in that shit like, yeah, man, you know, you know, you know, Buka from 600. That's his hood, man. Can't nobody can't tell Buka he can't come back to his own hood. Like, you know, he from there. And all like, boom, this Mimo saying all this shit, bro, you know. He defending, he over defending Buka, you know, the same person who lined them up. So basically, Mimo defended Buka, you know. All the rumors about Buka can't come back to the hood. Mimo defending him like, nah, bro, that's this his hood. He can come back to his hood, you know. If he want to come back, he can come back, you know. And I I know that I'm have some people scratching their head like, why the hell is uh. Mimo defending Buka when Buka just tried to get your ass uh, beat to death and uh, chain took from you, teeth knocked out your mouth. Why is you defending him? So the only reason I could think of is a few reasons, but it's like this one of the main reasons. It's a few one, but this one of them. The reason I think Mimo is defending Buka is because the shit was unsuccessful. Mimo never got hands put on him. He never got a chain took from him. Yeah, he had to jump out the window and run, but you know, they didn't get him. You know what I'm like, Buka set it up, but they didn't get they ain't get him. They ain't they ain't get to put their hands on Mimo or none of that shit. So it's like Mimo never got touched in that situation. You know, he got set up, but you know, they ain't they ain't get to him and shit. So that's one of the reasons that pop in my head, like, okay, well, even though Buka set him up, you know. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? The shit was unsuccessful as far as them getting their hands on Mimo. But I ain't even gonna lie, fool. Even though the shit's unsuccessful, it's like, all right, I got some more reasons. That's that's one of the reasons. The other reason that's popping in my head is that Mimo, like I'm telling you, bro, shorty ass, like, bro, if, that, if this ain't no flunky shit, like, for one, on my son, bro, like, Mimo back in contact with Zoo. 
Like, yeah, Zoo, that's my homie. We talk all the time. Like, Nemo, bro, he's a flunky, bro. He do some real shit that make you back up and be like, all right, Nemo, he just did some real shit. Let me lay off him for a second. But this the type of shit I be talking about. He's a, this whole shit, Nemo a hoe. On phone number, how the hell you back cool with Zoo? We'll talk about Buka in a second. How the hell you a hoe to me, bro? How the hell is you back like, yeah, Zoo my homie, when Zoo just ran up in the crib and beat the shit out your Emilio. He beat the shit out of Emilio, knocked Emilio teeth all out, God damn it, took his chain. Now it's uh, four, six, they running around with Steve Drive chain. And the, you know what I'm saying? The shit was getting so real, you got scared and jumped out the window and ran, fool. Like, the same person who made you jump out the window and run because he downstairs beating shit too hard and you scared, like, damn, they finna kill me if they find... Like, that, the same person you back on online talking about, like, yeah, Zoo, my homie. That's my dog. On phone now, man, like, man, I ain't gonna lie. If anybody gonna take 600 out of his name, all right, yeah, Buka, he should take the 600 out of his name. But Mimo needs to take that shit out of his name, too, fool. Because Shorty Emilio got the shit beat out of him, got his teeth knocked out of his mouth, got chain took off his neck by Zoo. And you, Mimo 600, is saying, yeah, Zoo, that's still, that's my homie again. That's my dog. It's like, you should take the 600 out your shit. Buka should take the 600 out his shit for lining the shit up. And you should take the 600 out your shit for getting back cool with the person who did the shit on some shit like, well, y'all ain't put y'all hands on me. What a soul, you telling me Emilio, that's not your homie? Emilio ain't got 600 on his name? It's like, it's a, a lot of snake shit going on. It ain't just the snake shit on Buka and like Mimo ass a snake. And then he online when the shit first happened, they ain't take my chain, they took his chain. Man, all them is Steve Drive chains at the end of the day, fool. Everybody got Steve Drive chain. Like, the Steve Drive shit, that represents your little brother, Mimo. What's your little brother name? Steve, right? That's where Steve Drive come from, right? All right. That shit represents you. That chain that they took, that shit represents you, fool. So it's like, he's, to me, Mimo's a hoe just off getting back cool with Zoo. That's whole shit. Dude, you shouldn't be ever be cool with him ever again after doing some shit like that. It's like... Y'all just ran up in the crib and just, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we can't be cool no more. And then you a hoe because of the, of the Buka shit. It's like, it's like you just so, you so flimsy, so fluky. It's like, man, Buka ass lines you up, but just because you ain't get touched. It's like, no, Buka, he come back to this hood. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This shit sound like a whole bunch of scary shit to me. You scared of Zoo. You don't want no problems with OTF at all. You done after that shit that uh that uh that uh that shit that whole shit where they run up and you don't want no smoke with them after that shit. But look, man, y'all let me know because I'm a I'm a go on a uh a, a tell this video gonna be a hundred minutes long if I keep going. So look, y'all just let me know what y'all think. I say in my opinion. Before y'all get up out of here, do me the biggest uh favor and smash the like button. Make sure y'all mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom, man. Some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them overstuff my blood and shit.